Hey runners, Coach Holly back here with a post run cool down routine. This is only five minutes long. You're gonna follow along right here with me. And no matter which workout you just finished, could be a run, could be a strength training session, maybe even a brisk walk, this routine will make sure you don't stiffen up for the rest of your day. Let's get into it. So it's up to you guys if you wanna keep your running shoes on or take them off. I'm gonna leave mine on for the time being for a little extra grip. We're gonna start in the hips width distance for the feet. So I'm gonna spread my feet right here. I'm gonna go ahead and find myself at the bottom of an off tension squat. So just nice and easy feeling the bottom of the squat here. I'm gonna take a deep breath. And I'm gonna lift my hips up as high as I can to get a hamstring stretch through the back of the legs here. I'm gonna come back down nice and easy. Open that chest, try to get some of those back muscles that work so hard for you in your run form. Loosened up and then reach back up with the hips here. Nice and easy breathing. This is nice and slow. Doesn't have to be at any specific pace. Whatever feels good to you, you can stay at the bottom here, maybe twist around, just get to those joints and raise it up here. Back down, open that chest a little bit more. Using those elbows to push into the knees if you need a little bit more opening. If you're not this flexible, no worries. Do what you gotta do to stay down there and then raise it back up. Bend and straighten these legs as much as you can. If you have really flexible hamstrings, lift those hips high. If not, just leave them low. Keep breathing, got another 10 seconds here, just like that. Deep breath. Maybe one more here and reach. Next up, we're going into a little lunge T-spine rotation. Again, this is gonna get the shoulders, the hips, the glutes, maybe even a little bit of that hip flexor on the back leg. So I'm gonna kick my left leg here forward. I'm gonna find a lunge and start here. All I'm gonna do is go off tension, drop that knee, sit into this hip, and open here. Come back down. Now I'm gonna let the knee fall out to the side like a pigeon stretch. As far as I can go, let the ankle break. Come back. I keep staying as just like this on the back end. Open to twist, put the hand down, lean that knee out, come back. You should start to feel the psoas, those deep core muscles start to open up as well. Breathing through this one, doesn't matter how far you go in any one position, just that you're moving and rotating. Just like that, one more time, we fall out with the knee to the side. And back. And then come down to those knees. Okay, give yourself a little break here. Couple deep breaths, reset the system, we're switching legs. We're gonna go the other side now. Right leg goes out. To the front, I find that big lunge position. I drop that knee down, off tension. I can even drop the foot up. I twist and lean onto that arm. Open the arm here. Come back down. Drop the knee out. Drop that right knee out. Come back. Sit and twist. Come back. And knee out. Just checking the time to make sure I don't keep you guys past five minutes. Twisting. And down, knee goes out, and back again. Take this as slow or as fast as you want. You might find that one psoas or the psoas area or the hip flexor on one side is tighter than on the other, which is totally normal for me. This left side is super tight, and I've had hip trouble on that side before, so it makes sense. Give us one more time out to the side, and back together. Nice job, you guys. Three minutes in. The next thing we're doing is a little calf smash. I'm gonna put one knee down, put my other shin across here, and I'm gonna sit onto it. Take this nice and easy. We're just gonna be here 30 seconds on this one side. You can work the shin up and down, breathing. This is super painful for a lot of us because our calves get so tight and overworked. If you're not dropping your heels, Kiss the ground when you run, you're gonna really feel this one. And actually, even if you're running correctly, you're gonna feel this one. Give me one more time here. Maybe a little push down on the Achilles and sit back. Release that. We're gonna switch sides here. Finding that crease on the right leg now, or whichever one you didn't do first, you're gonna cross behind like this. Seat it back. So crazy, my right side 
My right calf is so much less tight than the left. I think my whole left side is overworking. Keep breathing here. Good. If you want even more movement on that calf, you can flex and point this bottom foot using your hands to manage the weight because it's as much body weight as you want to put on it. I can sit all the way back for really excruciating pain or I can come up to the front. I can circle around if I want. Just a little bit of space in those calves is all we're looking for here. Nice job. And let's release out of that. The final thing you're gonna do, if you have a wall nearby, go up against it. If you don't, a chair will work. In my case, I'm gonna have nothing, but I'm just gonna show you what we're doing. This will work just fine without anything as well. We're gonna go shoes off, because this really helps us feel like the run's over. And on a timeline, I just plop them off. Hopefully you guys think that's cool. And you're gonna lay down on your back. A couple of nice deep breaths here. All I'm gonna do is lift the legs up. Again, if you're against a wall, let the legs be heavy against the wall. If you've got a chair, that's great. If you've got a friend that's gonna give you somewhere to just lean against, perfect. And all we're gonna do is let the blood flow out of the feet, come back into the hips, into the body. And we'll be here about a minute, you guys. The really cool thing about putting even five minutes into a cool down and warm up for either of those is you're creating a median between the workout and your everyday life. When we add this time in, we're able to give our body adjustment periods. We don't go from sitting in an office for eight hours to going out the door to a run. Just like that, we can't come in from the run and plop back down on the couch. We stiffen up the blood pools and ultimately we're shortening those muscles and tendons. And then we're gonna be in worse positions for our next run because we're gonna be that much tighter. Give yourself the space, give yourself the respect, the body the respect it needs. You know, we earn these miles. We're not able to just ask for these runs and work out so hard every single day if we're not gonna maintain ourselves. A couple more seconds here, guys. Nice deep breaths. You can really feel the tingling, you know, the blood coming out of the feet, which is always great. All right, we're gonna bring those knees in here. Let those feet go heavy, maybe a little side to side oscillation for the spine. And then slowly roll it up. Hey, thanks for going through that cool down routine with me. This is officially your go-to for any run, any workout, or even a stressful day. Put this on and follow along with me whenever you need it. If you guys are looking for more just like this, click right over here on this other post-run cool down routine. Subscribe to our channel for all our newest workouts and videos, and I will catch you guys another day.